writers of Gutenberg the Musical, Indeed. Um, which we are very excited about. I wrote the book uh, of the musical, the script. And I wrote the music and the, the score. And the songs. That's right. Beautiful songs, the Thank great you. songs that you wrote. And together we wrote, wrote the, the lyrics. music. Lyrics. The lyrics to the, the lyrics music. of the music. We think that this is, we've really struck gold this time. Absolutely. Um, we, 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 we searched through, we dug through the annals of history. Annals, I think. Annals of history. We dug through the annals of history, we really rooted around, and we found what we think is to be the shining turd, if you will, <laughs> of history. Uh, Gutenberg, uh, Johann Gutenberg, um, uh, I believe it was Time Magazine, called his invention of the printing press the most important invention um, in history, and I, for me, for me for one, myself for one, I uh, I think that anything that time prints is pretty official. They also so actually called Hitler the man of the year, if I recall. Well, he was, yeah. Well, he was very influential when they said it, and I believe that was before he hated Jews. He was having a good year. I think what we came up with, I'm, I'm extremely proud of. Oh, what we absolutely! Came up with. It's, it's it's a particular challenge for me to write music because I do enjoy music so much. Mm -hmm. I don't actually play any instruments, which makes it difficult to write music. But well, um, we found we, we found, found Charles. We found Charles. Charles and, um, um, he's a real talent. Yeah. He was actually able to to help us um, with some stuff because I think that chords. Again, not my strong suit. Not your strong suit. Right. Um, so, but I'm Charles very, is really good with chords. I'm very good at saying no. Right. So, so you know, I would, I would you say, be you on the, no. yeah. No, I don't. You just did it. <laughs> I come from an Asian family, and um, it's tradition that parents force the children at very young ages to learn instruments like the piano and the violin and the concertina the guitar, uh, the accordion. Um, sometimes they teach uh, the penny whistle, uh, cellos, upright basses. Um, one really popular Asian instrument that the Jews stole um, is the Jew harp. Originally, it was the Ching Chang harp. When we, when we brought it together, the script and the music coming together, it was, it was like an orgasm, God having an orgasm all over us. I think I can say pretty confidently that it, it is... Um, it is a good show. We, yeah, we are going to go yeah. all the way with this one. We've, um, invite, we've invited uh, some backers, uh, some Broadway producers. I put a list, I put an ad out there on Craigslist asking any Broadway producers that are in the Seattle area. And the, the Little Nickel, we have an ad in the Little Nickel. Gutenberg the Musical. Gutenberg the Musical. Opening on uh, September 4th at the Erickson Theater in Seattle, Washington. <sighs> um, this is an open plea to all Broadway producers to please tell your other Broadway producer friends at your Broadway producer and, barbecues. And their friends and, uh, and that are Broadway producers and any family members that are producers, mm -hmm. uh, even off-Broadway producers. Well, not far, not, not, too not so much, but. I mean, we don't want to settle. But it, you know, if you bring a Broadway producer, then you could be an awful Broadway producer as long as you bring a Broadway producer with you, that would be. We, uh, we have guesstimated that the cost of producing this show is going to be roughly seven to nine million dollars um, just to get it up. So that's not really what we can do without being on Broadway. Um.